Team, today I'm going to show you one of our favorite functional low back stretches that we learned from the Gray Institute. And I'd like you to follow along so you get a feel, and that way this can become one of your favorites too. We're going to start off right foot forward, wide feet. So just slightly right foot forward, wide feet means anything past shoulder width. My hands are just going to touch the opposite shoulder, and we're just going to bend laterally to the right. And I'm keeping a little bit of weight on that right leg. So you can see how my right knee's bent. And we're just gonna do a nice sideways bend. And you're just kind of keeping track which ones of these motions that we go through, which ones are a little tighter, which ones feel pretty good. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. So same leg still in front. And I like to do between five and 10 reps of these. And you're just kind of going right up until threshold. So you want to go just right to where you feel that stretch, kind of a nice medium stretch. If you don't feel it at all, well, that's pretty good. Then just keep moving and just doing the motion will help. You don't have to feel the stretch. If you feel a little discomfort, then shorten it a little bit. Find a distance that feels good and doable. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead in the same foot position we're gonna round nice and big forward. Again, just to where we feel comfortable. Very moderate, not rushing anything. If you get a little dizzy, you can keep your eyes fixed on a point. That requires a little bit of motion out of the neck. But otherwise, you just take your time. Nice and methodical. And then lastly, we're gonna go the opposite way. We're gonna tilt back. So you can see with the side view here, I'm just gonna create some extension through my back. Not too much. Again, I don't wanna feel any discomfort. But I just wanna create some nice movement. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the left foot forward. Again, wide feet. And we're gonna go ahead and drive laterally again. So again, it's nice and functional. We've got multiple parts of the body involved here. So it's very integrated. And we got multiple different planes of motion that we're working through, different directions, and feeding that back what it needs. So if you noticed, I switched to that other side. And again, I'm just taking a mental note, which, which side needs a little bit more help, which area, which plane of motion. And now I'm gonna go forward, nice big rounding, so you let that low back round. Just smooth breathing, very relaxed. And then we're gonna extend back. Taking our time and we'll rest. Okay, very good. So the more we do that, the more fluid we'll start to get, the better it will feel. And this is something that you can just do throughout the day, especially if we have that desk job. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're getting up and feeding the low back as much motion as we can. So if you notice right foot forward and then tilting to the left, was tightest, well then maybe you'll just revisit that part of the stretch. You don't have to go through the full thing every single time. All right team, stay tuned for the next one.